Hi everyone, it's Shannon. Welcome back to my channel. Excuse my voice as I am still getting through this summertime cold. I was really, really fortunate and my Dollar Tree decided to stock a whole in cap with their beautiful lemon decor. As you see, my coffee bar behind me here has a lemon theme and I know that's really popular this summer and it was with spring as well. It's a great way to kind of tie your seasons together and make it versatile that way. And so I was really excited when my Dollar Tree stocked, fully stocked this end cap. So I grabbed a few items to bring you all some great inexpensive lemon summertime decor ideas. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so for this first project, I have three items from the Dollar Tree. I have this big and small lemon plate, as well as one of these cute little tapered clear vases. And then for supplies, I have my white chalk paint, a foam paintbrush, and some E6000. So the first thing I'm gonna do is paint this. Of course, you could leave this clear and you could actually fill it with something maybe yellow that would look nice and complement these. But I think I just kind of want it to stay neutral and blend in with the background. So I'm gonna paint mine white. And one tip is to not paint the top or the bottom at all because we're gonna be putting glue there and we don't want our paint to get in the way of that. So I'm gonna give that two coats of paint with my white chalk paint. All right, so now that the vase is painted, I kind of wish I would have had white spray paint just to get a little bit nicer of a finish, but I didn't have any on hand, so I just went ahead and used the chalk paint, so it's fine. If you have spray paint, you'll probably get a nicer finish, though. So now what I'm gonna use is my E6000 glue here. I'm gonna put some on the bottom and on the top edge, and then we're just gonna sandwich the vase with the smaller plate on top. Now E6000 bonds pretty good after about an hour, but it takes 24 hours to cure, and it really takes more like 72 hours for it to really have a good bond. So after you do this project, you wanna make sure you let it sit for a few days before you know, you pick it up and kind of move it around too much, but it will bond pretty good after about an hour, so you can kind of put it where you'd like it. And it's just simple as that. So let's go ahead and add our glue and get this put together. All right, for this next project, I have one of the lemon placemats from Dollar Tree. See the tag there, it'll focus. So it is 12 by 18 size, and I thought this would make a really cute pillow. We have an entryway off of our kitchen next to our coffee bar, and I always have like cute themed pillows over there that kind of match the coffee bar theme. So I thought this would be really cute to put over in our entryway. So the great thing about this is it's already sort of got a couple layers. So we are just gonna cut one of those layers open and stuff it with some stuffing. So this is a pillow from Walmart and the pillow was only like $2. It was less than $3, I know that for sure. I've already used this for several projects so you can see that it doesn't, it's not as full as when I first got it, but that's the great thing that it goes a long way. So I'm gonna use that to stuff the pillow with 
And then I just have my hot glue gun here and that's what I'm gonna use to close the hole back up with. All right, so let me show you up close what I did here. You can see on the edge, it is sewn closed. And if you have a seam ripper, that would be a little bit easier to use, but I just had some really sharp pointy scissors that kind of helped me dig a few of those stitches out. And then I just ripped and pulled the stitches out of the rest of it. And that opened up this end for me. So I can use this end to stuff the placemat, which will be a pillow, and use that hot glue to close that edge back up. And this last project is really, really simple and easy and inexpensive. All three things are from the Dollar Tree. So I have the lemon bowl here. I have some white rock and this little white candle. And on the back, it says Zen. So you could spin this around or this is on a sticker so you could remove the sticker and get all the sticky off. So I think I'm gonna try to get the sticker off just so as this burns down, you don't see this on the other side. All right, so the sticker came off super, super easy. It didn't leave any residue behind. I had my goo gone out just in case though, but that sticker just peeled right off, no problem. So all you have to do to do this project is put your rocks in the bowl and put your candle on top. So I kind of just sat the candle in there and then poured more rock around it so it kind of sat in there a little bit better. But I think this would be a cute idea if you did like a citronella candle and put this outside. So on like a side table outside or on a barbecue grill area. And that way it kind of does double duty. It's decor, but it also will keep the bugs away. Or you could also put in a decorative candle. I had this one. Um, from Marshalls, I believe. So it was like $3.99 or something like that. So I think this would be really pretty with a colored candle in there too to give it a little bit more style. You could even wrap this with some jute or some ribbon and dress it up a little more. So just some options. This is kind of a cute little basic decor idea and then you can kind of run with it after that.
Thank you all so much for joining me for this tutorial. I had a lot of fun creating this lemon decor. Let me know down in the comments below which one was your favorite. Also, please give this video a thumbs up for me and hit the subscribe button so you can stick around and join me every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for new DIYs, tutorials, and new inspiration. And hit the bell as well while you're at it so you get notified when my videos go live. Thank you all so much again, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.